Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 592. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 591 to 595. In this trick here, we want to do uh, extract the word that occurs most frequently. Here we have some survey data, and um, we have OK, good, and we just want to know which of these categories in our survey, we said, do you like this new soda, and we gave them these possibilities, which one occurred most frequently? Which would be the mode? So in statistics, when you have nominal data like this, the one that occurs most frequently is considered the average, or it's called the mode. So this is like doing the mode for words. Usually, you just do a frequency table, right? Here's the unique list of categories, and you do count if. Look through there, please count whatever that one is, right? So we can see that the mode is good. Sometimes, though, you don't want to have this real estate used. You really just want it in one cell. And so here's a formula. And this actually came from a fellow YouTuber that uh, sent this in. First, we're going to use the, um, the count if function. Oh, just like we did over here, right? Count if. But we're going to do something unusual. Usually, you highlight the whole range. I'm going to click in that cell, Control Shift Down, now F4. Now I'm going to use that range a few times, so I'm going to copy it, right? And then you like select a criteria. But what if we put this here a uh, second time? Well, now what it will do is it will return a huge array, and actually, uh, so we'll highlight this and take a look. F9. It actually, and you can see up here, the very first one is 75. That means OK got 75, but then look. 86 for good, 86 for good. So it actually counts each individual item and, and returns the count multiple times. So it's a huge, ugly array. Control Z. So that'll be our um, provide kind of the conceptual trick here. Now, what can we do? We can say, give me the max of that. Right? And so now we've taken all of those. We highlight and hit F9. It goes 86. Well, we can see down here that that works, but I mean, that gives us the number. We could just use the mode function if we this data was numbers, but it's not. There are uh, words here. So watch this, Control Z. We're going to take this, and this whole column of data, we can use a lookup function like index, but we need to somehow get the word. Well, we, can, we have 86 here, so we can use the match function, use this as our lookup value, and then the count if, that big count if with all the numbers, will be the lookup range. Now, what does the match function do anyway? The match function will return the ordinal position, means in the list, what position is it? 1, 2, 3, etc. So I'm going to say the lookup value is that. And then I'm actually going to copy this whole count if thing, because remember, when we hit F9, we saw that that's all the um, frequency counts, right? So match has that lookup value. I'm going to type comma, and then the lookup array will be Control V, that count if. So now the max, please find the max within all of those, and it will tell us the position of that 86. Now, comma, we need to do exact match because we have lots of duplicates, right? And so now, what will this give us? F9, 2. And that'll say 2 right there, Control-Z. And we'll use the index function. And uh, the index function, I know this is kind of a convoluted way to do it, but it, it does get the job done. The index right there, give me the array. That's the lookup words, Control-V, comma. And then we have our array right there. Our number, which we can uh, you know, hit F9. You can see it's the second one, Control-Z. Put a close parenthesis here. And but wait a second, NA, that's because this is an array. Let me. You can look up here. There's no curly brackets. I didn't use Control-Shift-Enter. I'm going to hit F2. Yeah, anytime you put the count if, um, this count if function, that argument right there is expecting a single value. We plopped a range of values in it. Forget it. That turns this normal function into an array function. So the whole formula is an array function. Hold Control Shift and Enter. Now, if we wanted our count, we could simply say equals count if Control V, comma this one right here, right? And so later, if our data changes here, right? 
all of a sudden uh, we uh, had all these somewhats, right? So then somewhat, this would return a different value and it would give us our count of 92. Now, obviously this is the straightforward, easy way, but if for some reason you had a constraint like that, that's a pretty clever formula. Um, so there you go, Mo mode for words. All right, we'll see you next trick.